Hey guys, this is Richard of Fish and Channel and Reese.com and I'm at the show floor of Magna 2018 in Las Vegas. Now, this is possibly the one of the highly anticipated item of this show. Um, from week or probably about a week before the show, um, I had this notification from Facebook as well as other various media outlets that X is coming from Kessel. Yes. And I was I was very curious about this and I was able to get my hands on the press release and the new fixture is here. Without further ado, I'm here with David uh, from Kessel and he's gonna tell us a little bit more about this X. Sure, sure. If you're familiar with Kessel 360s, yes. existing ones, yes. Um, this has all the great features that that added more. Mm -hmm. So you've got the nice, beautiful, natural shimmer. Right. The good color mixing, mm -hmm. no matter which settings you've got it on. Right, right. But then we've also managed to reduce the size to make it a low profile light. Yeah. Oh, you could definitely see that. It is like a tremendously smaller. <laughs> it's a, uh, a big feat of engineering, I can tell you that. And it was, not only did we reduce the size, mm -hmm. but we also increased the output of the light. So right? rarely do those two things ever happen together. Right. And then, but the, what about the wattage? Is that, is that the wattage has not wattage? been affected. It's the same wattage as before. Really? Yeah. So 90 watts. 90 watts. Max 90 watts. Yeah. Um, it's got about 25% more output. Yeah. We decided that um, instead of just focusing all that output in the same area, we'd widen it out a little bit okay. and make it more even. Nice. So we redesigned the optics to be more like the AP700 gotcha. with using like hybrid optics. So this right, is kind right. of in between those. Nice. So it's kind of like a middle ground for that. So they, is this the still same type of uh, dense dense matrix LED? It is a dense matrix LED. This is using a newer platform though. This is a, what we call the 100 chip platform. Okay. Uh, we don't populate it all the way, but this allows us a lot more flexibility when it comes into um, you know, control and dimming and all sorts of things like that. Very nice, very nice. So uh, let me ask you a quick question. So with this like so much smaller, I'm, I'm imagining the heat sink will be a lot smaller as well. How does that work with the heat? <laughs> so we developed a new uh, type of Air, uh, of air movement through a vortex. It's mm -hmm. almost frictionless. Okay. So not only does it allow us to move more air through the light, mm -hmm. but it's quieter and it can consume, it, you know, basically the thermal throughput is a lot faster. Let me ask you one question. <laughs> Why do you guys call it X? Well, we, we, it's the next generation of light, okay. but we don't anticipate having to make too many upgrades all the time. Right. So we wanted to give it something definitive, like this is this is the light that everybody's going to want. Gotcha. And so we gave it the X. Plus, you know, there's a popular iPhone X, right, so right, we figured right. now was a good time to use that. Gotcha. And that was uh, sort of the project name too, when we didn't have a name for it, gotcha. it was the X. We've got a few other extra features too. Mm -hmm. So like the AP700, we added some extra color control. Okay. The colors have always been in the lights, but we kind of like held back, allowing people to control some. Mm -hmm. We wanted them to know that the spectrum was priority, yeah. so that they could get very healthy tanks without having to think about it too much. Right, right. Now we're allowing some control, so you've got red and green and violet along with the tuna blue. Mm -hmm. So you can do pretty much adjust it to anything you want nice. visually and nice. still not have a negative impact on the, the spectrum too much. Nice. And then it looks like this is an old uh, gooseneck from the regular... Uh... It is, yeah. So this is uh, the existing mounting arm. Uh -huh. um, we didn't have to redesign anything. We wanted to make sure the light fit with all the existing accessories. Very nice. So if you have one, you can use it. If you, you know, if they're available in the store, you don't have to worry about compatibility. Nice, nice. We also managed to um, implement our new ultra-low dimming. Mm -hmm. um, as you know, most of our lights have been current controlled rather than PWM. Okay. And now we kind of have a blend of uh, different technologies to allow it to dim a lot further down. Mm -hmm. so, so there's no longer a transition period like with the original 360s. Right. Between 5 and 10% they would cut on. Mm -hmm. This one's all the way down you know, at or below 1%. So you can use them as the moonlights, just natively. We don't have a, we don't have to put a moonlight in there. Gotcha. It's a, it can dim down that low. Yeah. The transitions are a lot smoother and faster. Um, and then also we've designed it so that the frequency doesn't interfere with video. So right now we're taking this video. As I tune it down, most lights would start to flicker on camera at some point, even if yeah, we yeah. don't catch it. Right, right, this right. This one shouldn't. Nice, nice. I, well, I could certainly appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and uh, I noticed that you, you guys still have this uh, nozzles on the top for the for the control. Um, do you guys, uh, what kind of what other methods of control is available for this unit? Sure, so um, the knobs are still there because we know people like the ease of use. Right. But that only allows you access to the tuna blue spectrum and the intensity. So right. in order to access the extra colors and some of the extra features, mm -hmm. you can use um, our new spectral controller X, okay. um, which uses the K-Link protocol. Mm -hmm. So K-Link is the new connectivity between our lights. 
It's an automatic detection sort of grid mm -hmm. that um, once you hook lights together, they identify themselves individually. Mm -hmm. um, so they're accessible individually, but they can be connected through the same source. Nice. So previously, when you connected a chain of A360s, um, all of them would do the same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Potentially, these ones, each one can do a different thing. Oh, wow. So you could run a different program off all of them. Yeah. You don't have to run separate connections for each one. So I could have the color of the rainbow if I, if I choose if to. If you wanted to, yes. <laughs> That's and you don't have to one run connection and also like I said it's powered by the light okay. and so you don't actually have to plug the controller into the wall anymore oh, nice. as long as you're using the new X series very nice um, there's still a port for the older lights so it's backwards compatible so okay. if you have a refugium light or you have another light that you want to connect with the new controller that'll work too and will this, will this be able to be controlled via Apex or other type of uh, controllers as well or no? we hope so yeah we're still working on that um, nice. definitely when the Wi-Fi dongle comes out which should yeah. be next year yeah. Um, you'll be able to connect through the protocol to other Wi-Fi devices like Apex and things like that. Very nice, man. So, you know, I was very interested because I thought it was just the, 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 the body of this <laughs> changed a little bit. And then I was talking to Jake Adams at Reef Builders, and he said that this was possibly the most anticipating thing that he he was anticipating at this show. Okay. So that got my curiosity really up high. Well, we're yeah. glad that's the case. You know, yeah. we've never been one to just make small improvements in order right. to make new products. Yeah. We've always tried to make um, big advancements in not just Mm -hmm. Aquarium technology, but LED technology. Right. So at heart, we're a technology company. Yeah. So we always wanted to bring that to the aquarium industry. Right. So we've got smaller size. Mm -hmm. um, we've got actually the highest PVD, which is uh, uh, photon volume density of any light in the market really? by far. Okay. So how much output you can pack into a small space. Wow. And that's what we try to improve all the time. That's awesome. Um, we also, for that K-Link, we use a new type of connector. We use a USB-C. Mm -hmm. So because it's, we needed something smaller, something that can communicate yeah. two ways, yeah. um, we decided to go with that. It's already designed to be resilient to harsh environments, mm -hmm. to be water resistant. You know, most water resistant phones yeah, use yeah, yeah. that. That's so awesome. uh, for us, it was an obvious choice. Yeah. And you know, I, I, what I'm really uh, surprised about, like, about this light, is this this three foot tank, right? Yes. And this is an extremely tiny unit, and <laughs> yeah. you can see the spread is going all the way down here. What is the maximum spread of this this light? I would say this is probably the maximum spread. So three feet. Three feet. So 36 gotcha. inches if you're going to have soft coral and LPS. Okay. Um, and then if you're going to do hard coral um, or SPS dominant tanks, yeah. you probably reduce that down to 24 or a little less. Gotcha. So when is this unit coming out? We're hoping to start delivering in November, so just a few months away. Nice. Um, and then one thing I didn't mention too is we're no longer going to have the wide and narrow versions. Okay. We're only going to have wide, mm -hmm. and then we have an accessory, a magnetic accessory, similar to the AP700. Right, right. But yeah, that yeah. will narrow the, the beam down to about 70 or 60 degrees. Nice. Okay. Um, natively, this is about 130. Nice. Gotcha. Yeah, so the better, better spread from the get-go. That's good. Yep. I like that. So we've got the tuna blue mm -hmm. and the tuna sun. Yeah. Uh, the extra color in the tuna sun, we've got amber and red. Right. So you can kind of fine-tune the look of that as well. Now, uh, we mentioned when it's going to come out. Um, what is the retail price? going to be when it's when it's released we managed to get the retail price down to about 450 gotcha. um, so normally you you'd think something like this end up being about 600 right, right. but we, we were able to squeeze a lot out of it for all the engineering we put in very nice very nice all right well David thank you so much for taking your time to talk to me and yeah. introducing your light I'm very impressed by this be sure to check them out in November when it, when they release this I will be posting a little bit more uh, about their accessories and their dongles and etc etc so that you guys can have a more informed decision when you pay, uh, when you when you purchase a new light. All, All right, David. Thank you so yeah. much. Thanks a lot. All right, man.